Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are unboxing the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus in collaboration with Khloe Kardashian, the BoxyCharm Base Box and the BoxyCharm Premium. Um, I don't get the like base bag of Ipsy just because it's a bunch of sample sizes and I tend to forget about my sample size products. Uh, if you remember my last place, I had a drawer of them and they just like stuck in the wayside. So I just get the Ipsy Premium and then they upgrade me to, or I pay for the upgrade every quarter for the Glam Bag X. So this is the, I mean, this is the Ipsy Glam Bag X in collaboration with Khloe Kardashian. There are some great products in here and um, there was one product that they didn't have the price listed for it so I had to look it up and <laughs> you've got to get all the way to the end to find out how much it is but I about had a heart attack. Spoiler alert, go watch the entire video to see but I about had a heart attack when I looked up that price tag. That was in this one. Now, I also have the BoxyCharm Base Box and the BoxyCharm Premium. Now, when you look at these, like, there is a significant size difference in these boxes. Um, BoxyCharm Base Box was a really good box, as far as what I thought. And then the Premium one was a little bit, eh. Eh. Anyways. <laughs> If you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button down below, hit the bell for notifications of new videos, and if you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. But if you wanna see what I got in my subscription boxes, and oh, by the way, we got this look from using those products, you just gotta keep watching. Okay, you guys, so I haven't unboxed BoxyCharm in like a month, I think I, got my April BoxyCharm and Ipsy Glam bags like the end of April. So by that time I had already broken down my film studio and decided that I just wasn't going to do them. Um, trying to travel and move and all that stuff at the same time. It just, it was too much. So I do have my May. I have two BoxyCharms. I have the base box and the premium box. And then I also have the Ipsy Glam bag X which I love when they actually send the box, but at the same time, like it's a lot of packaging. This one is in collab with Khloe Kardashian. So I figured we would start with Ipsy Glam Bag X first and then go to the two boxy charms, see what's in all three boxes and then come up with the look using those. So I'm really excited to see this. All right, so when you open it up, you know, there's always the packaging and everything that keeps what is it, the styrofoam padding and everything to keep everything like safe. <laughs> I have only ever had one item break in a boxy charm and they were really quick to replace it. So I always love that about boxy charm. All right, so this is the Ipsy Glam Bag X. There is Khloe Kardashian. She collabed with Ipsy for this. So it's like all of her like favorite beauty products. This is really cool. So. I don't know if there are prices on here for each of the items because I know when I get my BoxyCharm, okay, they do. It is right here. I know when I get my BoxyCharm, I get the card and sometimes with my Ipsy, it'll be like, scan this QR code and it'll bring it up, <laughs> but you never know with each one. So this shows you all the products that you could possibly get. Um, and let's dive into this. Okay, so the first thing in here. Oh man, I already have this. Uh, this is actually the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance eyeshadow palette. I will open this up because um, I wanna show you the colors and the one that I have is <laughs> packed in a Rubbermaid, like a huge hefty uh, tote. This one, because I already have it, I will pass it on to a friend, but I love the Anastasia Beverly Hills packaging like this because it's just that soft, like felt, I don't know, it, I don't know how to explain it. But there's the protector in here. There is a very nice mirror. And then all these beautiful shades. We'll take this off. There is a brush. And then you have the mauve pink tones. You've got some browns, some cream shades. It's just, a very beautiful, subtle palette. 
There's a couple shimmers in here, mostly mattes, which I'm not mad at. I do like my uh, modern Renaissance palette, but I hope there's another eyeshadow palette because I don't want to use this one because I want to give it to a friend. Um, and I don't want to have to dig mine out of my big tote because I packed it up for like moving and everything. This retails for $45 and I love Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow palettes. Like they are some of the best. Um, so I'm going to set that one right there. Next we have the complex culture rose quartz there's a Gua Sha Sculpting Stone. Oh, I think this was an extra thing that I added on. So it just comes in a box like this. This is one of the add-ons that I purchased. I have some of the like face sculpting, like rollers and everything, but I wanted one of these so bad. I don't know, where are my scissors? I always keep my little like handy dandy scissors for travel. You never know when you need them, but it, it's packaged very well. Okay. So this is what it looks like. And it's just so that you can sculpt your face and retone it. You know, as you get older, you, you need to take care of your skin and your face and all of that. So this is really cute as well as it has a little pouch to travel with, which perfect for right now. So I will use this later on tonight when I get ready to go to bed and I do all my serums and everything. I don't know how much this retails for because like I said, it was an add on that I added to my box, which I love that as a feature. You know, they have the store that in addition to the items that you get to choose, they've already chosen, like you get to go and add other things in there if you want to. So that's really cool. Okay, the next thing, oh, this is from Patrick Starr's beauty line. This is one size. This is an eye popper in the shade, everything and more. So let's open this up and check it out. Oh, ooh, you guys know how I like glitter. This is everything. Let's, ooh. Maybe I don't need an eyeshadow palette. I'll just put glitter all over my eyes. That is stunning. It reminds me of like the Stila little like eye glitters. I love that. So that retails for, it doesn't say. It has the one size eyeshadow palette on here, but it doesn't have, oh. Found it. It is $22. Oh, the rose quartz is actually on here too. That one is $28 for the complex culture rose quartz face thing. <laughs> Next we have, oh, another Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the brow pen in the shade Ebony. Is this one of those liquid ones? This retails for $22. Let's see. I can never get packaging open well without like, hopefully not breaking a nail. Okay. Oh, so it's very fine tipped. Let's see. Okay, so I did do lines right there. I don't know if you can really tell. It is very fine tipped. I don't know how I feel about brow pens. Like they're, I have a heavy hand. You need a gentle hand with this. I usually gravitate towards like, where is it? I have it right here. The Anastasia Beverly Hill Brow is, this is my go-to. So I'll try this out. And if not, I'll pass it on to someone else who has a gentler hand. Okay. Next in here, we have the Mac love me lipstick. This is in the shade baited breath. 
and the MAC lipstick retails for $21. What, didn't they used to be like $18? Okay, so I really like the packaging on it. It's just a very shiny metallic black with the purple metallic. Ooh, that shade is stunning. There's no rhyme or reason to my swatches today. They're just like all over it, but it's like a Merlot burgundy wine shade, <laughs> if that makes sense. Let's see, what else do we have in here? Okay, so now we've got some skin stuff. This is, so they do make sure to package this well because like they don't want it to break. This is the Sunday Riley CEO Glow. It's a vitamin C and turmeric face oil. Let's see, does it smell good? Ooh, I mean, it smells like skincare. Some of their stuff smells like vitamin C or um, oranges. It just depends on what's in it. So this one is on the other page and this retails for 11. $40. So it's for dark spots. It's a fast absorbing oil. It's packed with cocktail of skin brighteners. That's cool. I do like that, especially because I do have some sunspots from when I was younger, didn't wear sunscreen. I lived in Florida. So this will be really nice to add into my nightly routine. Let's set that off to the side. Next we have, this is the 111 Rose Gold Radiance Booster. I love the packaging on 111 skin. Like it is so stunning. This, I want to say 111 is super expensive. I think I have a face mask from them that my sister sent me and it's just ridiculous. Let's see, is it on here? I don't see it. No, I might have to look this up. It's not on here. I will look up the price and I will actually, cause I know that I usually put like the titles of what these are. I will put the price tag down below, but that is what it looks like. Packaging is cute. There is a very subtle, like, it's not super like rose scented, which I'm not a fan of. Rose is one of my grandmother's favorite scents but it's a very subtle scent. It's not, it's nice. It's very like soft and flattering. I will try this out. It is booster is formulated with Rosa de Messina and pure gold to enhance the natural radiance of skin for a coveted dewy lit from within complexion. Sallow skin will become utterly incandescent. Um, Add to your moisturizer, apply directly to skin after cleansing. Okay, that is really cool. Hmm. I will have to try this out. I don't know if it's something that you can use prior to makeup application. I will have to do some more digging. Let's see, and then we have one more item in here and this is from Herbivore. This is the Prism AHA BHA Exfoliating Glow Facial. So this is a face mask. That's cool. Okay, I love a good face mask. I need one actually, especially traveling. Ooh, I love packaging. Like, look at this packaging. It is so pretty. It's just kind of like that prismatic What is this? Was that supposed to come out? Where are my tools? There. It's like a jelly. Okay, so. This smells more like rose. Interesting. Let's see, how much does this retail for? It's gonna be a very shiny type of face mask. 
is what I gather. This is also not on here. I will also look up the price of this one and I will put that down below. Well, it should be like right around here as far as like the information, but I will look that up so we can know for sure. Oh man, I usually do these totals. I'm not gonna be able to do that if I don't look this up now. Okay, so I did find the Herbivore Prism face mask on Sephora. It retails for $58. So I totaled it all together and we got a total of $236 for that box, which I think is amazing because there's a lot of skincare, there's a lot of like makeup products, which I appreciate. I love a good 50-50 balance. It's when it's all skincare and yes, I like skincare, but I play around with makeup more than I do skincare. So, especially cause if you mix up your skincare too frequently, your face can, or your face, your skin can have an adverse reaction. There, that's, that's about as far as we need to go with that. Now let's get into the boxy charms. So we're going to start with the boxy charm base box. It's a little bit smaller. Um, let's see. All right. So off the bat, I already see a couple like makeup products in here. Oh, I don't know about this one. This is the Tarte Shape Tape Glow Wand. I like the Tarte Shape Tape, just like the regular one. I've even tried the other concealer that they have. It's not my favorite. I also have the Hydrating Tarte Shape Tape, which I do like that one, but I've never tried this one out. This retails for $27. Um, sheer liquid brightener, let your skin come through to deliver a natural lit from within youthful glow delivers a soft focus finish includes removable sponge for on the go blending. All right. I'll try it. If I don't like it, I'll pass it on to someone else, but we'll try it. Then we have Han healthy, active, natural. This is an all natural multi stick. Okay. So this. It's in Rose Berry. Let's open this up and try. Oh, it looks like a blush. That's interesting. It has an interesting scent like vanilla. So this is $16. Delivers healthy looking color for the cheeks, eyes, and lips. Buildable and blendable formula glides on effortlessly and benefits the skin with nourishing ingredients, including organic shea butter, argan oil, and other skin loving ingredients. I guess we'll be trying this out as well. Try it for a blush. Then we have Cab Cosmetics Day and Night. Um, what is this? If you hear anything, that is my cat Sochu. She is in my suitcase, suitcase playing around. I just emptied out one side of it and now she's like pawing around in it. So if you hear that, that's her. Um, I hate traveling and living out of suitcases, but I'm appreciative of my friends who have said that I could stay with them. So, okay. So this is, oh, it's an eyeshadow palette. All right, cool. We have another eyeshadow palette. So this is the day and night. You're supposed to be able to take your day looks and go to your night. Um, there's a good mix of mattes and shimmer shades. You've got some mattes and both the, the lighter and darker tones. These are really pretty. Okay. So the cab day and night that retails for $52. It's not too bad. I've had some more expensive eyeshadow palettes, so I'm excited to play with that and try it out. Ooh, next we have the Hello Fab Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. I think I've had like a small sample of this. I can't remember, it's been a while, but just a small tube of it. This is 50 mil and this retails for $30. Formulated with coconut water and other superfood ingredients, complexion enhancing moisturizer instantly brightens, hydrates and smooths while helping blur the appearance of pores. Ooh, I like that. The result is beautiful, healthy looking skin when worn alone and long lasting makeup when used as a prep step. 
I guess we will try this out today. And then the last item in the base box, this is the Dry Bar Hot Toddy Heat Protectant Mist. I love the color of the packaging. It's so cute. It's that mauve pink shade that I go for. This is $27. A lightweight spray protects dry hair from heat styling with curling, straightening, and styling irons up to 450 degrees. I need that because <laughs> this does damage to the hair. All right, so that is everything for the base box. Where can I set this? All right, let me get my handy dandy cell phone and calculate this. All right, so we have $27, 52, 30, 27, and 16. So I paid $25 for the base box and it totals $152. That's not bad, um, especially because there's some items in here that I really like the products. Um, either I've tried them out before or, you know, I wanted, like I've tried products from them, but like the eyeshadow palette and this I've never used before. So that's, that's cool too. I like it because BoxyCharm forces me to like try things that I, I wouldn't have necessarily bought for myself or were like too expensive. Okay, so now we have the premium box. This one is a lot bigger than the base box. Of course, we have the card in here as well. Let's see. Ooh. There's a scent in here. Let's see. So a lot more packaging. Ooh. Oh, this is mostly skincare. So the first thing we have in here is the Royal Tulip Nectar Moisturizing Nectar. This packaging is so cute. Oh, it looks like a jar of honey. Let's see. This retails for $65. Ooh, it's like a, I don't want to pour it out, but it's like a jelly. That's what I was smelling. It kind of like, it kind of smells like peppery, if that makes sense. That's interesting. Healing ointment to serum hydrator soothes, nourishes, and helps repair the skin's barrier powered by a proprietary Dutch tulip complex and a bouquet of earth source botanicals. Apply anywhere your skin needs extra love. Oh, you can try it as a moisturizing sleep mask. All right. So I have been putting like my skincare, I've been leaving it in their boxes. So like, I know that it's not open yet because otherwise if it's just in a bottle, then I don't know if it's like been open recently or like it's been open for a while. So I try and keep it in their boxes. All right, next we have Oda Sight Pure Elements. This is a black cumin cajipet facial serum for pimples. Let's see. 100% natural, cruelty-free, GMO-free, and vegan. Oh, it's like a little like dropper bottle. So I don't want to open that up because That retails for $36, formulated especially for problem skin. Potent serum helps reduce the appearance of blemishes. It's so concentrated that two to three drops morning and night is all you need to awaken skin's beauty. Black cumin oil helps purify the skin, promoting a more smooth and clear appearance. Kajipit supports a fresh and clean complexion, visibly free of blemishes. Okay, cool. Um, I don't get a lot of like pimples or anything like that, but when I do have breakouts, I can try that out. Next, ooh, I like Grown Alchemist. This is the Grown Alchemist Body Cream, Mandarin Rosemary Leaf. Ooh. So their packaging is nice, simple. It's an Australian certified toxic-free through a profound understanding of human biology, cellular renewal, and nutrient utilization for formulations represent a new evolution of scientifically capable biological beauty. Ooh, and it's just like a mint green shade. 
I do need to open this because <laughs> I'm traveling with the body creams that are, uh, I think I have one that's almost out. So there is a little like poker in here to open it. So I'm going to, ooh, that smells so nice. It's just nice and creamy, so. Oh, yes. I love growing Alchemist. And they're like, I, a lot of times I've used their face products in the shower and everything, but like, man. It smells so good and it just, it feels so nice on the skin. It's not greasy or anything, which I like. So this retails for $26. Deeply hydrating body cream formula with potent bioactive ingredients that noticeably nourish, moisturize, and soothe dry skin to visibly restore skin elasticity and suppleness. That is awesome. I love Grown Alchemist. Like, oh, the skin feels so nice and oh, feels so great. Next, oh, we do have a makeup product in here. This is the Too Faced Melt Chocolate Matte Eyeshadow. This is in the shade Amaretto. So, and I actually, I just bought one of these. I don't think it was the shade Amaretto though. If it was, I will gift this to somebody, but it does smell like chocolate. Oh, I just put that lotion on that hand. So we will swatch it here. All right, so that is the shade. It's just a matte shade. It does dry down. You can, okay, so I just smoothed it out a little bit. Has some opaque color. <laughs> Always smell my makeup. I'm a weirdo, don't mind me. Huh, okay. Maybe we can, I don't know if we'll use this today because I do have the eyeshadow palette and I also have the one size eye popper. So we'll see. Next we have the Rodeal Dragon's Blood Eye Masks. Oh, I love Rodeal. These retail for $18. They're innovative gel eye mask combined biocellulose technology with Dragon's Blood Complex to intensely hydrate the delicate eye area with an immediate depuff effect. Ooh, I need these. The cooling effect leaves skin feeling refreshed. Well, Arnica extract helps reduce the appearance of bags and puffiness for an instantly brighter appearance. Great treatment for prepping before a big event. Hmm. And there are three of them in here. Love a good eye mask. When I'm doing my hair, I'll put them on and then just like take them off before I do my makeup. Next and last item in premium is La Russe. These vegan, cruelty-free, and hypoallergenic. I assume these are like brushes. They feel like it. Oh, yep. We have eye brushes, or face brushes. Okay. These retail for $96 for brushes? What? This is a three-piece set. Let's open them up. Okay, so it's like a, I don't know if you can even tell, like they're studded a little bit, like in a silicone feel. This is a small angle brush. This is good for like eyeliner or like if you're trying to wing out your eyeshadow. Then we have a highlighter brush. This is kind of big for a highlighter. <laughs> they feel nice. And then we have a kabuki. So this is good for foundation. They feel nice. We'll try them out. Um, I don't know how I feel about that. All right, so let's jump into this. Oh shoot, I need to tell you how much that box was. So BoxyCharm, I am losing my stuff right now. <laughs> so BoxyCharm Premium, you pay $35 and then, um, you get a pretty decent amount. That's not what I wanted. Let me pull up my calculator. All right, so 65, 21, 36, 
26, 96, and 18 equals $262 for the premium box. And we had six full-size products in here, one makeup item and five skincare products. That's not too bad. Um, it honestly depends on your preference too. And I want to say like when I um, customized my profile, it asked me if I wanted a majority of like skincare vice makeup. So I, I don't know. I know that I've said that I want a majority of makeup, but maybe the premium box was just focused on skincare this week or this month. So, all right, cool. Let's jump into this. I'm going to go ahead, prep my eyes, and then we will use this eyeshadow palette. I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, so I did prep my eyes with my eyeshadow primer, and I am about to go into this Cab Beauty Day and Night. Now, I was just looking at this, and I'm like, I feel like I've seen this before. And this may be an unpopular opinion. And I looked it up, and I was like, you guys. So, does anyone remember the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk eyeshadow palette? I'm gonna pop it up on the screen so you can see a better view of this, but, I'm gonna pop a picture, uh, probably right here, of this eyeshadow palette. And it's not like the same placements for the eyeshadows, but they look very similar color story. Then when you look at some of the swatches on like the Huda Beauty website, they don't have like the similar, similar like shades, I guess. Maybe they do. I don't know, that one kind of does. Yeah, like this shade kind of looks like Twilight. You guys, these are the swatches. Am I crazy? Like, is this, is this almost the same exact? Anyways, it's eyeshadow, I'm gonna play with it. I wanna try it out. Plus we have this one size eye popper. And you know what, nowadays with as much as we put out as far as makeup is concerned it's hard to not duplicate replicate or be very similar to so i'm just saying that's comment down below am i crazy like what do you guys think constructive comments constructive criticism anyways let me zoom you in and we will start on these eye looks or on this eye look these eye looks they're gonna be the same i have I have errands to run. So I think because we have a pretty neutral eye popper, I wanna go into this shade Sand. I'm gonna put that in the crease, I'm gonna put it in the outer V, and then I think I'm going to build it up with this shade Coco. Then we'll use the eye popper, and I don't really think I have like an inner corner highlight or brow bone, but that's what I'm thinking. That's where we're going and try this out. So go into sand. I have a little audience right now and she is just standing there all creepy, like a little statue. What are you doing? I love you weirdo, but usually you're hiding under the bed during this time. You don't want to go take a nap? some good pigment uh there is a spot where it doesn't want to like buff out there it goes i'm not trying to be too aggressive all right now i'm going to go into the shade coco i am just going to take my L19 from Laura Lee. It does get dusty a little bit. That's not too much to worry about because like, how does it work on your eyes? Okay, we built it up a little bit. I'm not trying to go too crazy today just because I do have to run some errands. Yes, I do like some bold colors, but like, how many eyeshadows am I actually gonna use out of this palette right now? All right, so 
Use sand, use cocoa. I think that's where we're gonna stay for right now. I'm gonna go ahead and use the eye popper. This is in the shade Everything and More. And I'm just gonna pop that all like right through here. It's a very glittery shade, which I appreciate. Not everyone likes glitter. It's not everyone's thing. I'm just one of those that when I don't have to go to work, like I like some glitter. It is very liquidy. Okay, so patting it out was not the move. All right, so I'm gonna let that dry. I'm gonna go do this eye and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back and I can't just go and do like my foundation and everything because we do have the coconut skin primer. This, I did just take the seal off of it and it smells so good. Okay, so let's try this out. Oh, that's what it looks like. It's kind of like skin color. It smells so good. It feels great on the skin. Oh, it just feels so nice. Now for me, I don't usually do like a hydrating primer only because my only skin and I mean, granted it's 70 degrees here in Virginia right now. So it's not too crazy, but let's check the pores real quick. Um, I don't see that it like blurred my skin. I am gonna, cause I do like the, like a glowy effect on the outside of the skin, but <laughs> this stuff right here, I want to make it disappear. So we're going to take some of my Tarte Timeless Smoothing Primer. Just centralize it over some of my bigger pores. I mean, I'm not going to make them completely disappear. I just want to minimize them. All right, so I'm probably going to use my Fenty uh, Pro Filter Foundation. But I do, the only reason I haven't like turned the camera off yet is because we still have this glow stick and I'm not sure how I feel about it. I think I'm going to put it underneath my skin or under, under my skin. That would be something. So this glow wand, this is in the shade a light. I don't know how I feel about this. Is this like a twist top? It doesn't want to open. I don't. Maybe we're not using it by. Never mind. It just twisted off. I'm like, is it a pull top? Is it a twist top? It's a doe foot applicator. I have literally never used this before. Um. Why did I smell? It? It's a glow wand. Like Tarte doesn't usually like. <sighs> I'm nervous about this. You guys. Do I want to be glowy under my eyes? <sighs> Maybe I should have gone with my first tuition, which was don't do this. glowy from the coconut skin primer. So like, I don't know. I'm gonna go do my foundation concealer, the rest of the stuff that I have here and I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, so I am back. I tried to do my brows with that like brow pen from I lost it. It's, I'm sorry, I'm all over the place right now. Like trying to find a house, my offer wasn't accepted. Trying to find a new house, like 
Anyways, maybe we'll do a chit chatty get ready with me. If you guys want to hear about like the debacles of trying to buy a house right now, uh, comment down below and maybe we'll do a chit chatty get ready with me one day. <sighs> but I'm trying to regroup. So I tried to use this. <laughs> I am not skilled with these brow pens. Like I just need more practice. I need to sit down one day, like after I take my makeup off and I'm getting ready to go to bed and just like, I'm okay with looking like a cartoon character cause I can wash it off. But when I'm trying to like run out the door to go look at houses, like that's not the time to try out something that I'm like, nah. So my eyebrows actually turned out blockier than I expected. Um, and that was because I was trying to cover up the mess I made with this. So it's not that this doesn't work. It's that I'm not skilled enough to use a product like this. Anyways, I digress. Now we do have a cheeky thingy mabobber. This is that all natural multi-stick, which I forgot is a cream and I already put my powder on. So what I think I'm going to try and do, I'm going to put it on the back of my hand to try and warm it up. Use my blush brush and see if we can just tap it on without disturbing my makeup because you guys and then we got to finish off the rest of the eyes so that i can do my eyeliner mascara and then we have a lip product that i also almost forgot about Ooh, that is <laughs> pig mented um that was just a swipe let's Let's see, do I wanna tap this on first? Where did my mirror go? It's right here. Do I wanna like, oh, it feels sticky. Let's, we're gonna do this right here. Tap a little with the brush. And of course, I'm trying to use my viewfinder cause like, I need to find my clips. I just need to buy new ones. Like, is it adding color? Does it look like it's adding some? I feel like it's a little patchy. Oh yeah, that's moving my powder. Like that's my mistake for forgetting about it. That's also why like you shouldn't take phone calls while trying to do your makeup. <sighs> Anyways, I'm gonna go fix this and my eyeliner. Actually, you know what? I'll deal with this one in a minute. Let's finish this. So I think I'm gonna take sand and drag that under the eye and then cocoa on the outside and underneath. I will say that the eye popper, I love this. Like it is so cute. Um, let me see. I have a Sigma E30 pencil brush. I'm gonna use sand on that and just drag that underneath. Nothing too crazy today. Like I have some colorful eyeshadow palettes that I want to use here like soon. I think the next one that I use will be pretty colorful. Um, we're going to keep it neutral today. So I have some thoughts on that Tarte Shape Tape thing that I used underneath my foundation. Not a fan. Uh, it's going to go bye bye. It just, can you see that you guys like all the, Oh, mm -mm, that's not a look. So that will, uh, probably be decluttered when I get organized and situated in my new place. Like it may not even make it to the new place. Like, let's just be honest. That is not my favorite. That wand thingy. Nope. 
we're just going into cocoa. I don't think I said that. I'm so sorry. Like I was doing okay at the beginning of this video and then things just went crazy. All right, so the eye look is subtle. The eye lines are not. Um, <laughs> if you can't laugh at yourself, then, you know, Anyways, I'm gonna go finish off the eyes. I'm gonna try and fix my cheeks and I'll be back. Okay, you guys, I'm back. <laughs> I did have to go and do the inner corner highlighter. I just used my Fenty Beauty, uh, what is this? The Kilowatt Foil in Sandcastle. This is one of my favorite shades to travel with. And it's, I love the little sample size. I think I've talked about that a lot. If you've watched my videos before, I don't need massive makeup unless it's like foundation <laughs> i need lots of that and primer but i just don't go through highlighters like that all right now we need to finish off the lips i was looking to see if i had a lip liner shade close to this and didn't pack any um and they're packed up right now to a point where i can't reach them so we're gonna go in without a lip liner which is fine mac i haven't had too many issues with them like bleeding but then again, like it's been a little bit. Anyways, let's try this out. Oh, it's so creamy. That is a shade though. Um, like I said, this is in the shade Baited Breath. I'm not going to worry about it being like perfect only because I did say I have an appointment that I've got to go to and this is for sure coming off on a face mask. So make sure it's not crazy in the lips and the corners. Make sure that is straight. It is a really pretty color though. Like if we weren't wearing a face mask, this would stay on all day. Like I really, really, really like this color. Um, and granted, it's been a while since I've used a dark color like this, except for like the last time I used something this shade was that About Face one from Halsey. And that was really, really pretty. Um, this is so pretty. It's not as dark as that shade, but it's pretty. I really like it. What do you guys think? Do you like the darker shades? Do you like more neutral shades? Are you more of like a lip gloss type of person or like chapstick person? Like I know lipsticks are not for everyone. For the longest time I was a lip gloss girl, but now like face masks do not allow for lip gloss. And then if I have my hair down, I don't want lip gloss because my hair gets stuck in it and it's like a whole thing. Anyways, <laughs> I digress. All right, so you guys, that's it for this look. Um, I'm looking at the viewfinder. I think it turned out fine. I mean, I know that there's some lines, not a fan of them. It is what it is. Let me zoom you out a little bit. Cause like you all, y'all are a little close. There, better. Anyways, you guys, there's some things that I liked. There's some things that not so much. Um, that's the cool thing with BoxyCharm and Ipsy is, you know, there might be products in there that you yourself may not have gravitated towards or purchased for yourself. And then on top of it, you pay $25, $35 for a box and you get over $150, over $200 of product that you may have never purchased for yourself. Or in my case, there's things in there that I wanted, but I'm like, I'm not paying that price tag. And you know what? I just realized I never did look up that 111 skin. Let me, let me check that now because I want to say this, this is pretty expensive. Um, let 
Let's look. Um, uh, uh, uh. If I don't show you, you may not believe me. And I don't think I included this in the price. Okay, so this says 0.68. I don't know if you guys can see it on there because it's all shiny and metallic. So on Skin Store, I pulled it up. Do you see that right there? $135 for this. $135 for 0.68 fluid ounces. You. So 236 for that box plus $135. You guys, I for sure would not have gone and purchased this at a store, but you know what? I got it and I'm gonna try it. What the, is, I mean, it, like, <laughs> you guys, this is why I like those subscription boxes. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, that's it for this video. I'm currently having a heart attack right now. Thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in BoxyCharm or Ipsy, I will put a link down below. I'm not affiliated. It's just, if you want to find it, if you want to subscribe to it, go ahead, do so. Um, <laughs> my heart is having palpitations right now. Anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button down below, hit the bell for notifications of new videos. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Until the next one, you guys, bye. I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>